Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's uh, NHL slate. And again, this is part of the same series of just continuing to refine and, and drill down this process, uh, which I think is a nice repeatable process for building winning, well, winning plus EV or just kind of fun DFS lineups that I think will render you competitive. Um, again, I don't profess to be an NHL expert, but um, this process has worked very, very well for me since I started employing it. Uh, I do this a combination of when I do my bite, big buy and single entry, and also I'll use Sabersim to build uh, the MME uh, uh, lineups. But this is exactly what I do literally every day, and I'll do it uh, closer to lock than now, but just to show you the process, um, uh, I think it's I think it's really worthwhile. Now, again, you are going to need to access the true DFS tools to really accomplish this. Um, so it's not completely free, but at least for today, to show you, um, I will include the true DFS uh, sheets, which are usually only available for, for um, premium members, just to show you the process that I utilize. Um, so we're going to, well, we all may as well take a look at the, at the team totals. Um, I was about to dispense with that, but I want to do it anyway, just to give, give an idea of what to look for here, what to expect. So this is Saber Sims, their, their implied team totals. And looking through this at first, you'll see Tampa kind of standing out over the field, right? You have that Tampa with a four and nobody else even above a 3.5, which is, which is somewhat interesting. Um, then when we look at it on Daily Roto, which I think is free, so I have no problem with you with showing you this. But what, what, well, you know what? I'd like to show you what I do anyway. So as long as I'm not paying for this and you're not, um, I can do this. Uh, Dallas is 3 8. And once again, Tampa is a four. This, these guys have Pittsburgh a little bit better. Um, but in both, both the uh, analyses, Tampa rates to be probably the top overall, you know, team with respect to goals. Now, that does not always translate to fantasy points, although usually. And it certainly doesn't always translate to the fantasy players because remember, this is a salary based sport. And, you know, if they price your guys too high, you can't play them, even if your team is going to score, you know, a decent amount of goals. So, um, but it is important, I think, to at least know what to be looking for when you pull up your sheets. So these are again what the two DFS sheets look like. Um, and the, the two main, well, there, there are more columns that are relevant here than they are in, in say the NBA. So in, when, when you're analyzing NHL, there, there are two things you're looking at. You're looking at points per dollar and sheets value score. You are looking at ownership eventually, um, but not for the purposes of this video. And then you're looking at EV line and power play line, because what you're trying to do, very simply, is pick guys that rate well that are going to be on the ice together. Right? There you go. End of lesson. Uh, well, it's obviously very difficult, but, but that's what you're trying to do. Find guys that rate well that are going to be on the ice together. And when I mean rate well, what, what I'm going to be doing here is rating these guys by my sheets value score, which is, you know, a combination of, of projected fantasy points, um, point per dollar, upside, just all kinds of stuff that goes into sheets value score. And I like to rank all these guys by sheet by sheets value score. And then I literally just take a look, I almost like close my eyes and then look at the screen. And what I'm looking for are guys that are rated high around here hopefully and hopefully a bunch of them because you want guys that are on the same team that's the way hockey works more to the point you'd like guys that are on the same line right so you have guys that are on the same ev line even straight line or the same power play line or both that's really worth uh, that's really worth something so that's that's in a perfect world what you're looking for um so let's see what comes up uh just just close your eyes boom well, the first thing that I see is actually this Ottawa, because I have Norris as one of the top sheets value scores on the slate. And then I see, well, just one other Ottawa. Okay. Then I see these two guys. Uh, one of them is a goalie. So three Ottawas in the top panel here. However, one of them, Josh Norris, he's on just the second power play line. I don't even have him on the even straight line. So I don't know what's going on with him. We'll have to take another look at him. Uh, Brady Kachuk, he's 1-1. So there's not perfect correlation here. 
to bring cat is two one so it's somewhat fishy next thing i notice is uh tyra seguin uh but i don't see any dallas's yeah i see robertson there that's okay that's not bad and then i see kucherov and head and point and Sam Stamkos, and there you go. Right, that, that that this is what you're looking for. You're looking for at least two, hopefully three. And God forbid you have four in the same um in the same line or in the same you know uh, cluster. Then you're really in business. But before we leave this, you know, and say okay, end of slate. It's another team that's kind of showing up here. You got three Calgarys all kind of hanging around here. Um, and, and you might think this is not very data-driven, it's not data-driven analysis or whatever it is. Keep something in mind, all these projections are based on all that data and all that stuff that content providers waste an hour of your time going into. Like, well, they're, 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 they're metrics for this, they're metrics for that. All that goes into what these projections are. We're starting with that end result and building lineups from that. So I'm looking at Tafoli. From Calgary, he is 1-1. One, one. That means even strength line one and power play one. Padre, second even strength line, but first power play. Lindholm, 1-1. One, one. So I feel as though either Calgary or Tampa would be the team to, um, you know, to 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 hand build and, and, and get in your lineups. Um, so we're going to do that. But, th but the first thing I want to look at here are the goalies. What we'd like to see are cheap goalies that rate high. And here we're in perfect, we're in a perfect situation. You have Georgiev and Sorokin, both um, real cheap and rate really high. But you'll notice that Georgiev is in Colorado. Um, and I think they're playing against, uh, I think they might be playing against Calgary. So obviously we don't want to use that, but the Calgary stuff. Well, let's just start. Let's, 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 let's just start building. We'll try each different, we'll try each team. First, let's pill, let's put Georgiev in and then try to build with the, um, uh, with Tampa. All right, so who do we say? Uh, have this off on the other side. Now we have Kucherov, 7,800. You have Hedman, And then you have, was it Stamkos and Point, was it? Stamkos and Point. So you have these four guys in here, and you still have 39.50 left. So you could do one of two things. You could either fill out the rest of the Tampa staff, well, and make it a five-man, or you could see if you can't, you know, make a kind of a cheapo 4-3 or just build one-offs of 4-3. So what I'd like to do is just kind of look and see what the what – the, cheapo situation looks like and this josh norris play again this is as of now and this could just be a complete illusion but if you have a guy like this at 3300 he's he's gonna be very valuable in, in in more ways than one um especially when you're looking here and you don't see that much else with respect to cheapos so what what you probably could do honestly is is you put him in you put in Norris, and maybe you play some other Ottawa's. You know, we do a little more homework here. It says here these zero even straight. I don't think it'd be zero even straight. Let me do a little more digging. Let's go to let's go to um, let's go to Saberson. Let's see what they have for for Norris here. I'm not sure what they're what they're accomplishing here. Um, Norris, they have him. Yeah, two. They have him at two even strength and no power play. Um, where I have him at zero even strength. I mean, I have this backwards somehow. I will take a look at this a little later. Maybe that maybe that is the case, actually. That's a little weird. Maybe I have this backwards. We'll fix this. Okay. And nonetheless, I think this is probably good enough to be on the second even strength line at 3K. So what I think maybe what we're supposed to do here is just take that beginning and then fill it out with the other Ottawa twos. Okay. And since we have no idea what's going on now, 
um, we have to see who's in fact on Ottawa too. So we're, we're going to fix this, but for now, let's go to Sabersim and see who they have at Ottawa too. Um, let's see, even strength two. So they would have um, Giroux, Sanderson, Harmonic, Debrinkat. Now he's on power play one, so he's probably going to, he's probably a pretty good player. So let's put him in if we can. Ottawa, Debrinkat. This is kind of tough, though. It's kind of tough to get. And then you have to pay, pay, make two real big punts. So uh, it's going to be difficult to play these Tampas, honestly, um, unless you find some other really, really good cheapos. Let's see. At 4,100 a man, what, what do we got here? Even like good one-offs. I think what you're probably supposed to do is just play another Tampa. Is there anybody cheap in Tampa that shows up here at all? Uh, Hagel, 5,600. I mean, not really. Bolton, but he's not on the same line. So now we're looking at, oh, Tyra Seguin, 4,400. All right, that, that, that's fine, but he's but he unfortunately is, is, is not a wing, so that doesn't help. Um, then you have... This is really tough. Maybe we failed. And this is why, by the way, we use Sabersim, because Sabersim can do things that I can't visualizing. But let's let's take this out. You know what? I failed. Couldn't build a Tampa line. Couldn't do it. Right. So let's uh let's 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 go back. Well, now we can save a little more money because we can um well let's play Sorokin. Okay. Uh, we don't have to play. We 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 were probably didn't want to play Georgia anyway. It's probably too expensive. So we'll play Sorokin. And now let's build the Calgarys. We'll start with again uh, Toffoli, and then who's it? Kadri and Lindholm. And all these guys, I believe, were on the first power play line. All these guys are on the first power play line. So we probably should put another guy in from the first power play line. That would be Huberdo. So we'll put him in. And th this looks like a lot more reason, right? You could build this like really, really easy. The, the big old Calgary power play one line. As a matter of fact, you could probably, I mean, it's probably a good idea to go five man. So what I probably do is just make sure that you have the right, the right lines. Um, Lynn Holm, we already have Rasmus Anderson. Okay, so that would be a good defender to put in. Now we have just just the nut correlation. We have a five man for Calgary, plenty of money to spend, and away we go. So it looks as though Calgary is going to be the clear and easy single entry build uh for me at least okay and then and then you could just really really screw around i mean like for example i mean it fit what do we have 5100 man left or something like that i mean you can do whatever you want you could even you know what you could even do you could even play like headman if you want like play play two of those tampas for example let me check this out if you want to want to do this you could play headman and then you could go play, pick your favorite, you know, uh, Stamkos, Point, and then just one cheapo here. And then you can get a 5-2 with Calgary and Tampa. One cheapo and you're off to the races, for example. Okay. All right. So that's from that's hand building. Looks like Calgary is the easiest one to get to. Again, this is what I would do literally every single And then I go to, to Sabersim to show how dumb I am. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload the projections to uh to Saberson. And let's build, I don't know, what have been 50? We'll build 50 lineups using the 150 max settings and see what kind of exposure we get. You know what they're gonna probably do? They're gonna probably say, sheets, what was so hard? We're gonna jam in Tampa. Let's go. 
Let's see. All right, let's take a look. Uh, no, it really loves this 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 uh this Norris play. But what kind of stacks are we getting here? Oh, it looks like the well, I don't know, not that much Tampa. Let's let's see what's going on here. No, they're you know what they're doing? They're playing this Ottawa thing. They're they're feeding off of Norris. But how are they doing that? They're playing five mans. Ah, see, this is what's happening under stack types. Not that many five man stacks. Well, well, here's an example under team stacks, five man, mostly of the three that we have, excuse me, of the what is that? Well, uh, six, eight, and 11 we have, mostly Calgary and San Jose, actually. Four man, mostly Tampa, three man, Calgary, whatever. Yeah, well, Ottawa, they're playing Norris. That's the thing. So we're going to have to double check that projection, obviously, but that seems to be the one off du jour. And we'll just take another look at that. So again, according to SaberSim, it would probably get you more of the uh, Ottawa and, Col and Colorado um, uh, and Tampa. But Calgary, I think, is the play. I mean, it, listen, if the shit slate locked like, like now, it's certainly the easiest, the easiest stack to get in there. Um, and I'll probably end up doing that. But again, that presumed the slate locked in a half an hour, which does not. So anything can happen in the next seven hours. Um, again, we're not teaching you, hopefully, just what to do today. This is just literally the process that I'm going to do when we get down to it. But again, you have to have a good set of tools, uh, a good lineup builder like, like SaberSim, and a good bunch of, of, of projections like I think we offer on True DMs. Uh, and uh, that'll do it. Uh, good luck. And listen, uh, don't forget, 6 o'clock tonight, Probably going to do a live stream. I don't know how much I can make that. I'll be there for a little while, then I have a funeral to go to. Uh, but that will do it. Uh, good luck.